I'm Kate and welcome along to this video. I hope you're okay and sending lots of love to you. So this is a charity shop haul, a thrifted haul. Everything you're about to see I found recently secondhand at the charity shops near me in Norfolk and I've got some amazing things to show you. I've got the most beautiful coat that I found and it's just gorgeous and some things that are brand new, a lovely brand new jumper to show you. I've got some Christmassy bits and bobs, decory bits and games and books and oh, some gorgeous glasses. So loads of different things to show you and some lovely Christmassy festive bits as well. I've been really impressed with our charity shops recently in Norfolk. They are so good and you can always find amazing bargains and the prices on the whole. I think one thing's quite expensive, but totally worth it. And everything else is, um, yeah, it's so reasonable. And before I get into the haul, I've got to do my mug of the day. You might have spotted it on the table behind me. How lovely is this mug? It's gorgeous, I love the colour. And I think it's a Christmassy mug, although, oh, it's got lipstick on this side. Although I'm not sure what makes it Christmassy. It's a bit of gold in it. It's lovely, isn't it? I love um, Yvonne Ellen mugs and uh, little bits of gold in it and the handle. And I think, is that a puffin or a penguin? Let me know in the comments, puffin or penguin? I'm not sure. See, I thought it was a penguin. I'm pretty sure it was a penguin, but then Puffin just popped up in my brain. Anyway, this is my mug of the day. I did have a tea, but I've drunk it all. And actually, there's a bit in there, but it's, it's gone cold, so I won't drink the rest of that. I'll just put it behind me here. And I've got some um, roses I got in co-op yesterday. I got a couple of bunches, they were reduced. I love it when they have reduced flowers. And co-op roses are brilliant. They always last ages. And you might notice that I'm sitting with a different background again. Sorry if you're new to, my, to these videos, I will show the stuff in a minute. But just to explain, I'm up in the bedroom where I normally do my YouTube videos and there used to be a big flower wall here and now I've redecorated and I'm gonna be sharing like the bedroom makeover on Instagram, probably, I think next week, definitely, this weekend or next week. So after I finish this video, I'm gonna do all the finishing touches. I think it looks gorgeous. So I've got some wallpaper in here as well and it's so pretty. This is, um pink it's like a really soft pink but it's really dull today so you probably can't tell it just looks a bit white um but yeah so you'll, I'll show you on Instagram I'll show you on here eventually anyway like at some point so you can see the wallpaper and stuff but it's, it's gorgeous I think so anyway um so that's why I'm in the bedroom the flower wall has gone it was on like a trellis thing it's gone up to the loft and we'll get it down when we um start work on our like garden kitchen thing like an outdoor barbecue area so that will go on one of the walls and hopefully it'll look nice so that's the plan for the flower wall just in case you missed it as uh, it will be used somewhere else so i'm going to start off with how much i start off oh i'll do this one first i've got a couple of bits here um yeah i love everything i found it's so it's just gorgeous i've been quite excited to, to do this haul actually um so the first thing i want to show you is this little travel mug it's a kath kidston travel mug it's so cute i can't really resist this kind of thing it's just gorgeous and I had a massive clear out the other day actually a huge declutter and I took some big boxes to the charity shops and um, so I've got some space to put things in its place so that was a pound which is so good this was from um the Priscilla Bacon charity shop and I love the colour so I'll just take this off this little it's fucking a palace isn't it and buses and little London London scene so pretty love that and I actually use these like around the house as well these travel cups and I fill them up with water and put them in the car as well you know if you just want to grab something oh well, that's hard to get back I'll leave it like that for now that's a bit weird so that's my first um my first thing to show you that Cav Kidson bargain and then I saw these in I think it was Scope charity shop sorry the light's not very good my big lights are up in the loft and I thought I could get away without um, light. I've got a little lamp here, so hopefully it's, it's bright enough. I thought it was going to be um, a bit nicer today, but it's really dull. Um, right, so back to these, uh, these lovely little Christmassy stars. These were a pound for the whole lot, which was brilliant because some of the Christmas decorations have been quite expensive this year when I've looked new. Uh, they've been like one pound or one pound fifty or maybe even two pounds per one. So four of these for a pound is brilliant and they're just so pretty I've actually set up a little tree already I got it from Gumtree it's really cute not Gumtree Facebook marketplace so I'll show you that at some point maybe in like the next video and I'll, I'll put those on that little tree it's really cute it's only 15 pounds it's in a pot it's an artificial one and it's just it's lovely I think it's five foot and it's really yeah in a galvanized steel pot it's really it's beautiful I think it looks really um I don't know it just looks gorgeous 
So yeah, I, put it, I know it's early, but we're going away in December. So I thought I'll get some, you know, I'll get a head start with the Christmas decorations and put some things around. So I'll show you that next week because um, I've put some little de like uh, paper decorations on there. So I'll show you those as well. And this next thing I'm going to show you, I actually got these um, a couple of weeks ago when I went to North Walsham. I did a come shopping with me video and we went around some charity shops and I picked up some beautiful plates, Sophie. Sophie Conran, not Sophie Allport, Sophie Conran um, plates and like dinner set. So I'll link that video below if you want to watch it. And I also found these lovely, I think they're serving dishes. I found these in a charity shop um, and then I went to add it to the video and I deleted the footage. So I thought, oh no. So I just thought I'd show you them in this charity shop haul um, because I did actually get them when I went shopping a few weeks ago. And I should have shown you in that haul, but um, but I didn't because I deleted. I don't know how I deleted. Or maybe I just didn't press record. I don't know. But here they are. They are absolutely gorgeous. So these are um, heart dishes. I think they're oven dishes or serving dishes. And um, this one was £2.50, I think. It's, um, it says on the bottom here. I thought they were white company at first because they're quite white company -y. Um It says premium dinnerware. So I'm not sure where that's from. Uh, but it's really good quality. And I think it will go, yeah, dishwasher safe, microwave bubble. So that will go in the oven. Or will it? Let me know. Will that go in the oven? It's got like an oven bottom, but maybe it's more of a serving dish. So let me know if that is a serving dish. Actually, I probably won't go in the... Will you go in the oven? Because you're lovely and so right. So maybe you won't. I don't really know. So maybe this is just to put things in to look pretty. And then I got the smaller one as well. And that was £1.50. I picked up some little flowers the other day. These are really pretty um, peonies, I think they are. And there's a little hydrangea. I just love the greens, sort of hints of pink in the greens. And this little bunch, the whole thing was a pound. So I think they make, it says sage or their sage decor. And they were one pound, so I'll show you that there. Yeah, a pound for these flowers. So two peonies and a hydrangea, but really pretty colours. Goes nicely with this pink, actually. I'll just chuck those over there. It's weird not having a flower wall behind me. I, I love this pink, though. It's really, it's a lot brighter than it looks. Um, but it's just, yeah, I really like it. It's nice to a bit of a, have a bit of a refresh in here. I've got a couple of lovely things. I think you and Mr. Carrington is going to like a couple of these things that I found. But I bought this for Christmas, a little game. It's called Ooha. No, it's not. It's called Hoo-ha. Super Hoo-ha. It was £2 from Scope. And it says the devilish number calculations game. I'm going to be awful at this because I'm, I'm really awful with numbers. My brain doesn't really work with numbers. I used to be like not bad at maths when I was younger, but as I've got older, it just, my brain just pauses with, when it comes to numbers. I'm like, oh, I don't know. But this looks really good. I think Toby's going to love this. He's really good at maths. So is my dad. And Lee is really good at maths as well. So I think they're going to like this. Hoo-ha! Super hoo-ha! So it's just calculations or something. I don't know, but it looked quite good. That was £2. And I thought Toby definitely liked that. So I got that game. Talking to Toby, actually, I'll just show you these things here. He um he came with me to donate some a load of things to the charity shop and he was a really good help because he helped me carry them in. And then he found some books. He also did a raffle and he won some aftershaves. He was really happy. And um, this like brand new aftershave in a box. But he picked up these books. Um, I showed him these actually. These were on top and he didn't see them. But these Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. And in here there's a set of four. I think he's had one or two of these before and really liked it. So we thought we'd get this set. And it was £2 for four which is brilliant, isn't it? Especially for like this nice little like box set of books. So Toby chose that. And then we went to another charity shop and he saw these two and he said, oh, can I get two of these books? There was three David Walliams ones there, but he only liked the look of two. And he went, oh, I won't get that other one, you know, cause it's, it's extra money. And I said, oh no, it's, you know, if you want the books, get them because you're going to be reading them. And David Walliams books are brilliant and a pound is really cheap. He went, no, no, I'll just get two cause I've got the other one. So it's really sweet and, and considerate. Um, Toby is. So yeah, he got these books. So you've got David Williams, Billionaire Boy. These books are great, aren't they? So that was a pound. And this is Rat Burger. And that was a pound as well. So some books for Toby. And yeah, these are things that I think Ewan's going to like. So I saw this. It's a white company thing. So I saw, oh, it's not very, sorry, the light's a bit rubbish. It says dinner time. And I thought, oh, what's that? I thought it was going to be candles. It's like, oh, I found white company candles. It's not quite candles. It was £1.50. It's actually a game. So it's a dinner time game from the White Company. In here, there's all different. Actually, let me have a read because there's a 
thing of charades or charades here in its plastic so that hasn't been opened yet and there's some other I don't know if it's a few games in one but let me have a look so I thought oh, I'll we'll get that because it might be fun at Christmas like a little quick fire game at the dinner table or something with super super hoo-ha dinner time pass the box around the table to stimulate any dinner party uh sit back well oh, I'll read this sorry sit back and test your knowledge or get up and try out your acting skill and then there's charades charades as well so one pound fifty for that little white company dinner time and i picked up this little tin it's a fortnum and mason tin so i think it had tea in it stronger tea and it was only 30p from a little charity shop in yarmouth it's called pins and it's just full it's packed full of stuff and i saw this and thought that's so cute and for 30p i thought oh i'll get that and probably put it on my tea and coffee shelves because i'd probably never buy tea and coffee from Fortnum and Mason. I love the thought of it, but I just, you know, I just wouldn't. But it's so pretty, isn't it? So it looks gorgeous. You could just put your own tea bags in there and, and pretend. So 30p for that. I just thought it was really cute and will look lovely on the tea and coffee shelves things that I've got um, in, the, in our like living room. Right, this next item. Oh, it's so cute. So I got this yesterday, actually. I went in then, dropped some more things. So I've had a bit of a declutter and I saw this and thought, oh, it's so cute. I have to get it because I love a bit of Kath Kids. And as you probably know, if you watch my videos, I love Kath Kids and, and the Christmas range is gorgeous. And these are little um, champagne flutes. I don't even like champagne, but I'll put some Prosecco in with some raspberry syrup and that'll be like a nice festive drinks as we had on our say yes to the dress day i got some raspberry syrup from tesco it was one pound fifty for a big bottle and just mixed that with prosecco and it's so nice it just like prosecco is a bit dry for me but with a bit of raspberry syrup it just it tastes delicious so i'll probably do that at christmas and have a little toast with lee so this just says merry christmas on both of them obviously brand new in their box and these were eight pounds which might seem like quite a lot but it's still really good isn't it, for a Kath Kidston, you know, couple of glasses. It's really pretty. I'll try and get out of the way. I am sorry about the light today. It's a bit rubbish. Um, so I've got my big lights. I'll get them down for my next video for next week and film with the proper lights on. Um, but they're upstairs in the loft and I thought it'd be okay. So I hope it's all right. So beautiful little champagne flutes. I love this. Um, I love all the little, this uh, Christmas Christmas design that they did a few years ago and I think it says I think they were what's that either I think they were 20 pounds brand new so it just says 24 euros so probably about 20 pounds and um, they're just yeah really really sweet gorgeous I love those really cute so I'll use those um, this Christmas and then what am I on to I've got a couple more glasses to show you and then I'm on to the clothes, like I said at the start. I think I said at the start, I did the beginning a few times actually because I kept getting it wrong. Uh, I found some really nice, um, so yeah, some beautiful clothes and a gorgeous coat. So I saw these glasses and I thought they are perfect for Christmas. They were in a scope in Great Yarmouth and they had eight of these and I think they're absolutely beautiful. So I went to Peach of Nurseries, you know, um, well, it's a couple of years, no, it was last year, I think, with Ewan. And I don't remember that video. I'll link it below just in case if you want to feel a bit festive. So we went to Peter Nurseries, um, me and Mr. Carrington, Ewan, and we had a look around. They had the most beautiful wine glasses, but they were so expensive. They were like £250 for six expensive, like crazy expensive. So I saw these on the shelf and thought they look absolutely gorgeous. The detail. So it's, I think it's purple. Yeah, purple and um, gold with, I think it... I think don't know if that bit's green I think it's green and then clear with gold a gold rim at the top and they were 80p each for these um wine glasses so I got eight of them because you rarely find eight gorgeous glasses you might find one or two or you might find I don't know three or four if you're lucky but eight of the same ones I thought oh it's gonna be perfect and going to be using gold knives and forks for Christmas. I did a job with a, a cutlery company on Instagram and um, I thought the gold would work really nicely because I've got gold knives and forks and serving spoons and then gold in the glasses for Christmas. And I think Lee's mum and Nan will really appreciate these glasses. I, think, I don't think they're beautiful. Um, so let me know what you think of these glasses. No idea where they're from originally. Uh, they're just, yeah, special, aren't they? I'll use them not just at Christmas. I'll get them out like other times for 
So lovely. So we've got eight of those. And then next to them, I saw these two larger ones. So I thought I'd get them anyway, so just me and Lee can, can use them. So they were a pound each. And they haven't got the purple on these ones. They're just gold in the middle. I think that's stem. Is it called a stem? I want to say a stalk, but that's definitely wrong. Is Oh, it's kind of iridescent on the bottom here as well. Um, I think that's like a bluey green maybe. And then, yeah, again, clear top. But they're a really nice um, big wine glass. So I thought, well, I'll get these two. I think they're just lovely. I was really excited to find them. And when, um, when I paid for them, they said that they've been there for quite a while. So I thought something like that would go really quickly because of the price and how lovely it is. But they've been there a while, so it's meant for me. Right, I'm onto the clothes now. So I've got a couple of things here and then I've hung some um, bits and bobs up on the door. So I'll show you those in just a second. So I've got this skirt. Um, this was, it's from, was, is, it's from Matalan, size 14. And it's from, I got it in Bernardo's. So two pounds for this skirt from Bernardo's. I love the colour, this corduroy um, skirt, which is perfect for winter. I do love a corduroy skirt and the colour's really nice. It's kind of, what is it? I'd say it's not a terracotta. It's like a, a bright pink, I think, or like a dull, ah, coral. I think it's coral. I think it's coral some, or salmon, coral or salmon, something like that. Sea stuff, stuff from the sea, coral or salmon. And then I got Lee this really cute um, winter scarf. This was 99p from RSPCA. The pattern is lovely and it's in perfect condition. I'm not sure where it's from originally. I don't think it says, but um, yeah, it's huge and such a nice scarf. It's kind of dark blue with, um, is that like, yeah, burgundy and browns and just perfect Christmas colours it's lovely so that's for Lee so I'll give that a wash um yeah and he'll love that and I'm just going to grab the things from over here so I've got a coat and a couple of dresses a couple of jumpers I'll show you these and then that is um that'll be the end of the haul so I'll just come back got my bits and bobs got my clothes so I need to get sorted in here so hopefully next time I when I do another video it'll all be set up because I've got another mini sofa as well to put here so I'll just get these, um, put these here. So this coat I found a couple of weeks ago and it's a beautiful pink. That's a really kind of, I don't know, like a dusky pink and it's got some, I think they're silver buttons. So I haven't got a posh coat like this. I had a, um, like a leopard print one that I got a few years ago from a charity shop and I just, I, I donated it because I thought I'm probably not going to wear that again. So I found this um, yeah, a few weeks ago and thought, actually I do need, I need a posh coat. So I've got my like football coats and things, you know, raincoats and things like that. But I need like a nice posh coat to wear if I go out and, you know, want to look nice without um without my big uh, puffer jacket things on. So this was at £6.50 from East Coast Hospice. It's from M&S and it's a really beautiful long coat. So it kind of goes down to, I think it's just above the knee and it's really flattering on as well. So I thought it might be, it wouldn't suit me, it might be a bit bulky, but... It's absolutely gorgeous and it's so soft. And when I put it on, the ladies in the shop were like, oh, that coat's lovely. Um, you have to have it. And I was like, yes, I do. It's so nice. It goes in at the waist as well. So it's quite flattering and it's really nice on. And I'm pretty sure this is the same color as the coat, this lovely jumper. It's brand new. So it's from Sainsbury's or TU, TU Woman. It was 20 pounds brand new. And I found it in the RSPCA charity shop in Great Yarmouth and it was 3 99 It says it's a size small, but it fits perfectly. I love the colour. And look at the little like bobble things it's got all over it. It's so pretty. Lee's mum got me um, a grey one like this a couple of years ago. And it's got little grey bobbles and I wear that all the time. Well, I have been like since it's been a bit colder. So this must have been from the same range, I reckon, because it's just, it's so sweet, isn't it? It's to be perfect with a pair of jeans. I love that little jumper. It's so cute. I love things with bobbles on. I'm always kind of drawn to things like this and the fact it's brand new and it's so thick and warm as well and it's a really good length so it's not too long it's not too um you know bulky it's just it's perfect gorgeous detail so I love that I love you little jumper and it was I don't think I've told you it's 3 99 and another jumper this one is also brand new so pink jumper there's a bit of a pink theme going on here so this is brand new from select size 14 and it was five pounds from um, Scope Charity Shop. And that was Great Yarmouth as well. So five pounds for this jumper, it's brand new. And it's just lovely again. It's a, a paler pink, isn't it? 
really nice um, and it's got little it's got this bit of the side as well so it's not too clingy and it's just I love jumpers I'm wearing jumpers like every day at the moment so I'll be wearing that one soon I love that five pounds jumper and I'm now on to my last few things I've got some dresses to show you because I'm going to be going out for my birthday tomorrow so when this video is on we're going out tomorrow for my birthday to have some drinks and some food my birthday is next week it's on the 15th so in case you're watching it before so we're having a bit of a day out which will be lovely and I wanted um to wear a new dress so I've got a couple of options here I have seen a really nice dress um online a Matalan dress so I'm going to try that on I'm going to have a little look at it because it looks so pretty I'm going to try that one on but if that doesn't work out or doesn't look very nice I'm probably going to wear I think it'll be this one actually because it's really pretty so I've got three dresses here this one is just oh, fits so nicely and it's really pretty it's lovely material this doesn't really sort of do it justice because it's it's just yeah it's really nice it's great on um and it's from where are you from oh it's just asda it's from asda it was seven pounds it's quite a lot isn't it seven pounds for this dress and yes it's got nice sleeves to the elbow it goes in at the waist and then flares out it's got a zip down the back and it's yeah really nice on so i love that dress it's an option for um for tomorrow these dresses are so lovely as well this one is probably more of a summer dress i think it's so beautiful this like peachy color with these um sort of dot sauce blodges and i love the arms on this dress and the high neck as well i think that kind of i don't know i feel really comfortable in in uh, this type of dress so this is from it's blue vanilla it's a size is it 12 or 14 size 12 medium and it was three pounds from cancer research uk in great yarmouth and i just yeah i love this kind of dress it's fully lined it's down i think it's to the knee or just past the knee i just think it's really pretty and light and lovely so if i don't wear it um you know in winter i'll definitely wear it in the summer with some it's perfect for a wedding actually as well isn't it? yeah i could wear this um if i get invited to a wedding so that's probably um yeah it's a lovely lovely light summery dress i suppose i probably won't wear that till till next year so i'll just chuck that over there and then the final dress my final thing to show you in this haul is this um is this dress so this was a bargain i think it was 179 from age uk so let me just see yeah so this was um it's in the clearance shop it's 199 actually um so 199 from age uk and it's a colleen rooney dress it's a colleen um i don't know she did obviously did a range for it's probably I don't know is it Littlewoods or something and this is really nice on so I took a bit of a gamble with this it's lace on the top and then it's got like this satiny skirt with a bit of um this stuff underneath to make it push out a bit it actually looks really nice so I thought oh I don't know it might not really be me oh funny bit of hair there but it's really nice on so I may even wear this and actually no I won't wear this for my birthday because um we're going out during the day so this might be a bit over the top for the daytime but i will wear it at some point It'd be perfect for a little like christmas party or something it's really nice it just goes in there and then flares out because it's got that skirt underneath so it's it's lovely it's really flattering on and it was so cheap i thought i would uh, i'd get it and try it and it um yeah it's really nice i hope to have somewhere to wear that so that's my final thing in this haul that's the end of the video so i really hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a like and su subscribe as well if you haven't already that is and i'll speak to you next week so i'm probably going to do a um i've got some poundland christmas bits some things from b&m and home bargain so a bit of a mixture and some tk maxx things as well so i'll do it for a bit of a mixed christmas haul for next week so that'll be um yeah that'll be here friday at two o'clock but thank you so much for watching i'll speak to you next week come over to instagram as well i'm kate mccabe on instagram and my house account is kate's georgian home and i'll link them below and i'll show you this bedroom makeover on there very soon so I'm going to now faff around and make it look really pretty and then do yes do some pictures for Instagram of this bedroom I love the wallpaper so I'll show you very soon but thank you take care have a lovely weekend and I'll see you next week bye bye